Can you imagine to talk about the power of love? My wife's ecstatic. She's desperate to hear what I'm going to say. <laughs> it's a, uh, something that uh, touches all of us, and it's a fantastic idea to bring us all together like this. I don't think anyone knows what's going to happen next, me included. But when I first tried to tell people, listen, we need to bring love into business, about 10, 12 years ago, they started calling for two people, the lawyers and the men in the white coats to take me away quietly. They were wrong because love is ultra powerful. I hadn't seen that Felster quote before, but there's no doubt that the more love we give, the stronger we believe as individuals, as communities, as tribes, as people, as nations, the more fun we're going to have and the happier we're going to be. And happy bunnies work harder than unhappy bunnies. So the more happy bunnies Italy has, and the less Mario Balotelli's, the better you will be. Why is it important now? It's important now because we live in a VUCA world. A VUCA world, a world that is volatile, uncertain, complex, and ambiguous. And this term comes from West Point, okay? US Military Academy, who think that this is news. And I keep telling them, man, if you could all get a passport and then leave America, you would see that the world we live in, if you live in Italy or Argentina, this is the world we have known for 200 years. And it's a fantastic world. And by the way, you're wrong. It's not VUCA. It's super VUCA. I mean, advertising, right? So everything in advertising is super. Super model, super size, super league, super agent. Super VUCA. And I said, you military guys might think that this is a complex, ambiguous world. We, creative people, think this is an awesome time to be alive. Why? Because it's a world that's vibrant, full of life, full of hope, full of uncertainty, full of good shit. Right? This is a vibrant world, man. You can have more fun now than you could ever have. <laughs> You'd know all about that. Just ask Berlusconi. He's very big on this sort of idea. This is a world that is unreal. In the past, it used to be to make a difference in the world, you had to have scale, power, resource, wealth, education, people. Not now. All those things are okay. But now, the only thing that you need to make a difference in this world is an idea. An idea. Ideas are the currency of today. Ideas are the currency of the now. It's unreal, man. Have an idea, and you can change the world, and you can change it overnight, thanks to technology. You can change the world wherever you live. There are no more tyrannies of scale, tyrannies of size. It's unreal. In a super VUCA world, the world belongs to the crazies. Balotelli lives. Now, I'm seriously crazy. Hands up the crazies. They are in the front row. Definitely. All Hungarians are crazy by definition. So you've got to get your hands up. Crazy people, as George Bernard Shaw said, progress will come from the unreasonable man. Progress today is from the crazies because we're the ones who live on the edge. We don't live in the middle. We live on the edge. We're crazy enough to live in the world of ideas, which we can't prove, we can't analyze, we can't test, because an idea is only an idea once. We don't know. We're crazy, man. Fantastic. And it's a world that is astounding, okay? It is astounding the difference we can make if we want to. So in this kind of environment, we can all make a difference. Now, I know you're here because you think today will make a difference for you, right? or it's better than working, I don't know, one of those two reasons. So I'm going to give you, I'm going to show you something now, so you can go home tonight, and you can do this one thing, okay, and you can make a difference. She's in the barn, get him to go faster. Homens, mulheres, crianças, brasileiros, ou oh, não, nobres, plebeus, músicos, deportistas, pessoas que se aumentam 
Metade de homem e metade monstro. Coisas do além. Lendas brasileiras. Lendas gregas. Pessoas boas. Pessoas não tão boas. Gênios da arte. Gênios da ciência. Trapezistas. Amantes. Pessoas de outros planetas. Fenômenos do cinema. Enfim, se você vai xixi, tá convidado. Solta o xixi no banho. Ajude a Mata Atlântica. Thank you. So you can save the rainforests, okay? Now for the guys here, that's not a new idea, but for the girls, it's a new thing, okay? So go home tonight, tell your kids, your kids are gonna love that, okay? So love's an important thing in this super VUCA world, right? How do we infuse love into business? Well, when I was a kid, I was gr growing up in the Northwest of uh, England, I lived in a very uh, poor background. My father was a, a security guard in a mental hospital, okay? It's very similar to the job that I have today at Saatchi and Saatchi. It's like, it's like the same thing, only I get paid a little bit more, but it's the same job. And my parents left school when they were 14. They came from large families and so on and so forth. And I felt very unloved. And in the place that I lived in, you could either play football or rob people. It was one of those sort of two things. A few good men rescued me, they inspired me, they cared for me. And at that stage, I learned that love and care, forgiveness indeed, have been really important to development. So I've tried throughout my career to bring that love and inspiration into business. And how do you do that? Well, you know, when you, when you study, listen to all the learned gentlemen and academics and business people, Everybody's got a point of view on the role of business, right? Jack Welsh was very clear. The role of business is to create shareholder value. Pretty hard to argue with. Drucker, the genius, was very clear that it was the role of business was to create and sustain a customer. My view is you take those thoughts, you take them into 2013, and the role of business is to make the world a better place for everyone. Because we're the only ism, capitalism, that does that. None of the other isms deliver socialism, communism, totalitarianism, call them what you like. Capitalism delivers why? It creates jobs fundamentally and it creates self-esteem. So it narrows the gap between have and have nots. Inclusive capitalism is the way to go. And that's why I'm very proud you know, to be a businessman talking about love. And in today's super VUCA world, there are two killer apps. Clearly, in a VUCA world, strategy has never been less important. Because in a volatile, uncertain, complex, ambiguous world, good luck on strategy. If you can see clearer than 100 days, you are fooling yourselves. You are delusionary. Okay, so have a purpose. Have some principles. But the killer apps are execution and speed. Tom Peters gets it right, fail fast, learn fast, and fix fast. Because we live in the age of now. We're not worried about yesterday. We're not worried about tomorrow. We've moved from the attention economy into the participation economy. We want to join in, we want to join the conversation. Nobody makes advertising campaigns or marketing campaigns anymore. Instead, we create an unfolding narrative that frankly has a beginning, but it has no middle, and it certainly has no end, because it's a conversation, a dialogue, it's participation. Information is a table stake. It is inspiration that counts. We're drowning in information. We need inspiration. ROI, Edward de Bono once told me ages ago, there is no point being brilliant at the wrong thing. And return on investment is the wrong thing. We need to be pretty good at that, but everybody is. What you have to be brilliant today is measuring and predicting a different ROI, return on involvement. Marketing, as, as you know, ordained in the past by Kotler & Co., has pretty much become dead in the water. It's become commodified. The role of marketing has changed dramatically. It's not about building and sustaining brands or customers. It's about creating movements. Brands are dead and have been replaced 
by Love Marks. What are Love Marks? Love Marks are super evolved brands that are dripping with new stuff. The key difference between a brand and a Love Mark, brands are owned by brand managers, marketing managers, shareholders. Love Marks are owned by the people who love them, who buy them, who talk about them. New Coke could never exist in a world of love marks because Coke does not belong to the Coca-Cola company, it belongs to the people who drink Coke. Brands are based on respect, benefits, attributes, performance. The famous ER words, bigger, whiter, faster, cheaper. Love marks are built on respect and love. Killer app. Brands create loyalty for a reason. Love marks create loyalty beyond reason, beyond price, beyond benefit, beyond discount, beyond attribute. That's where we need to play. You can put your business, your brand, whatever you're in, onto this simple axis, a love-respect axis. You can plot your brand, your business on there. Bottom left, commodity, low love, low respect. Welcome to Alitalia. Fads, high love. Low respect, no money to be made there. Top left are where successful, strong brands live. They do what it says on the can. High quality, good performance available, but ah, susceptible to price, susceptible to innovation, susceptible to new entries. Top right is Nirvana. Loyalty beyond reason. A brand that you care about, that you absolutely love. Brands used to be irreplaceable. Nothing is now irreplaceable, right? You can replace your iPod or your iPhone with anything from anywhere else. You never will. And you never should. Because Jobs made iPhones and iPods not irreplaceable. He made them irresistible. Mm. When you buy an iPhone for the first time, you lick it <laughs> because it's irresistible. How do you create and build this love mark? You get out of your own way, right? What's the difference between rational thinking and rational management and emotional thinking? It's simple. Rational thinking leads to conclusions, meetings, and God forbid, McKinsey. Whereas emotional thinking leads to something very different, doesn't it? Emotional thinking leads to action. And we are all in the action business. We want people to join our movement, whether that's a movement of ideas, intellect, or brands. There are three secrets to creating a love mark, and you won't, you won't learn about these in all the business schools or all the packaged goods. You need to infuse your brands with mystery, with great storytelling. As Jensen said, the heroes of the 21st century will be the storytellers. You need to infuse your brands with sensuality. We feel the world through five senses, not claims. And finally, intimacy. Connectivity. Intimacy is a beautiful thing close to the human heart. But there are some things that sometimes you can become too intimate. Summer arrives and they come with it. Men stripped of everything, even their own pride. They have no pants. 
shame and less self-respect than clothes. Along with the heat comes every family's worst nightmare. Dads in briefs. So intimacy, but not too much intimacy. In the age of the idea, it needs a new kind of leadership. And revolution starts with language. So the kind of leaders we need today are people that change the language and that have no big ideas. Forget the search for the big idea, there aren't any. Have a culture where there's lots and lots of small ideas, man, every day and get them out there. The people will decide which are the big ideas and then they will grow. Forget the big idea. Leaders reframe constantly. Constant, constant, constant reframe from problem into opportunity. Jobs was fantastic at this. Leaders surprised with the obvious. NASA spends hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars on the space pen, and the Russians give their astronauts a pencil. And creative leaders deliver four things. Responsibility, learning, recognition, and joy. If you're not getting those from your company tomorrow, come join Saatchi and Saatchi because we give them all the time. <laughs> so, that's it. The power of love. Love has infinite power. You're going to hear some great speakers today that I think are going to infuse you to go and make a difference. So get out there. Make the world a better place. And remember, if you can't reach heaven... Raise hell. Thank you very much.